for 6.3, you are going to learn on structure and functions of heart and blood vessels. This is a human heart. Heart is the most vital organ. It is located in thoracic cavity behind the sternum or the breastbone. It is found between lungs with the apex of the heart slightly oriented to the left. Uh, the size is much, not much bigger than our face and it consists mostly of cardiac muscles. This organ provides continuous blood circulation through the cardiac cycle. Our heart is enclosed by double wall protective sac called pericardium. It helps protect our heart. The heart wall has three tissue layers, the endocardium, the innermost layer, this myocardium, the cardiac muscle, this is the thickest layer, and the epicardium, a serous membrane that forms the thin outermost layer of the heart wall. This is a diagram of human heart. This is the right atrium. This is right ventricle. This is left atrium, and then this is left ventricle. Our heart has four valves that close automatically, preventing blood from flowing backwards. This is AV valve. On the right side, the AV valve known as tricuspid valve. On the left side, it is known as mitral valve or bicuspid valve. While this one is pulmonary valve, and this is aortic valve. As mentioned earlier, we have four chambered heart, two atria and two ventricles. Our atria serve as collection chambers for blood returning to the heart from the lungs or other body tissues. The atria have thin walls where it pump blood in a short distance to the ventricles. The ventricles have thick walls and contract much more forcefully compared to the atria. The left ventricle is thicker and more muscular than the right ventricle. Why? Because it needs to produce higher pressure to pump blood throughout the body via the systemic circuit. Our right ventricle pumps blood to lungs which are nearer to the heart. The left and also the right ventricle pumps the same volume of blood during each contraction. What are the functions of our heart? To generate blood pressure, routing blood into pulmonary and systemic circulations, ensuring one-way blood flow and regulating blood supply to match metabolic needs. This slide shows our heart valves. This is the AV valve and this is the semilunar valve. The AV valve on the right side is tricuspid valve, on the left side is bicuspid valve or mitral valve, while the semilunar valve are located uh, at the two exits of the heart, the aortic semilunar valve located between aorta and left ventricle, while the pulmonary semilunar valve located between the pulmonary artery and the right ventricle. So the main function of this valve is to prevent backflow and keep uh, the blood moving in one direction. There are three main types of blood vessels, arteries, capillaries, and veins. The cavity of blood vessels are lined with an endothelium. The endothelium are surrounded by layers of tissues that differ among arteries, capillaries, and veins. This endothelium is a single layer of flattened epithelial cells. Our capillaries are thin and porous, Network of capillaries, called as capillary beds, passes through body tissues. Exchange of materials happen here, whereby um, the diffusion uh, occurs across this thin porous wall of capillary, uh, goes into our interstitial fluid and then into our cells. Uh, capillaries then converge into vessels, then into veins. Veins that carry blood back towards the heart. This diagram shows structures and interconnections of blood vessels. So this is artery. It carries blood away from the heart 
and they divided into many smaller branches, the arterioles. And these are the capillaries. They are microscopic vessels that form networks, which exchange materials happen here between blood and tissues. And here the veins, they carry blood back towards the heart. Here you see the wall is thick and over here the wall is thin and this vein you see it have valve. Walls of arteries and veins have three layers. The three tunics are tunica intima, tunica media and tunica adventitia or externa. The inner lining is called endothelium. The middle layer, the connective tissue and smooth muscle cells, while the outer layer is connective tissue rich in el elastic and collagen fibers. So here, the function of this tunica intima is to provide smooth inner surface that minimizes re resistance to the flow of blood uh, for tunica media here. Um, the function is uh, smooth muscles allow vessels to constrict and dilate uh, in order to regulate blood flow. Uh, elastic fibers allow blood uh, vessel to stretch and recall to maintain blood pressure. While for tunica advertitia or external, the function is uh, the collagen makes the wall of blood vessels strong and durable. Okay, this diagram it shows artery and also vein. Okay, the artery they have thicker walls, and this uh, vein they have larger lumen. Uh, the three layers of the tunics are tunica intima, tunica media, and here is tunica ex externa. This table shows three main types of blood vessels. So there's a difference between these arteries, capillaries, and veins. For arteries, it transport blood away from the heart toward body tissue. It transport oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery, they carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lung. Wall of arteries can constrict and dilate. It can stretch and recall. It has small lumen relative to diameter. Capillaries connect arterioles to venules. They have large cross-sectional area for exchange of materials. So uh, the respiratory gases, nutrients, waste, exchange here okay and then they cannot constrict this is the smallest blood vessel and the diameter is slightly greater than red blood cells while for veins they transport blood towards the heart they transport deoxygenated blood except pulmonary veins pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from lungs to heart larger lumen uh, relative to its diameter Okay, we continue. The arteries have no valve except semilunar valve in the aorta and pulmonary artery and it have thick muscular walls. For capillary, they don't have valve and no muscle tissue. Uh, they have very thin walls, uh, but, uh, just one cell thick. Okay, and then for veins, the valve present. Why? To prevent uh, blood flow of low blood pressure and also to maintain unidirectional blood flow uh, and of course the wall is thinner okay, because uh, blood flows under lower velo velocity and pressure this is all for the time being thank you very much students and see you in our next